Yo, I am Dr. Cool. The Western world have no idea what's brewing in different corners of African villages who lacks billion dollars research labs, no degree, no PhD, DVD, DMD, no fancy educational certificate, no cutting edge tools. However, this titans of African are ready to shut down the Western economy, not by gun, bombs, nukes or missile, but by their inventions and groundbreaking innovations. The question we are asking currently from Africa is, is the West ready for what's coming? Or they still want to keep the spirit of daydreaming alive while selling false hope to keep their citizens in chains of energy dependence. African innovation leading the charge. While the West is still dreaming, you said it, but you'll never see it coming, however is happening now. In a groundbreaking turn of events, yet another African innovator is shaking the very foundation of global technological expectations. This is not Maxwell Chikumbutso's groundbreaking invention. This is not breaking physics laws as the matter. In fact, this technology is not new, but has been out of reach. Today, African innovator has took the world by storm with nuclear power. You heard me right. And his experiment is a temptation that will leave no cash in the bank. This genius is not here to seek for Western gamekeeper's validation. Bro came for the bag. While the Western world continues to make noise about futuristic household products powered by nuclear energy, an African mind has quietly and boldly made it a reality. An electric kettle that runs on a nuclear battery and does not require any external electricity source. Yes, you heard that right. This isn't a concept sketch. It's not a promise tucked away in a high-budget documentary or some corporate R&D brochure that will never see the light of day. This is a working prototype. A fully functional nuclear-powered kettle. Imagine engineering another with higher energy density enough to power a car, a household application like a potable nuclear power generator. And this will be a total shutdown. This young man by name Fed has rescaled the nuclear power and the Western engineer are busy eating donuts. No fancy LAN, no billions dollars research facility. And more importantly, he is not after patent or Western validation. Demonstrated and documented right here on African soil. And no, this isn't the work of Maxwell Chikumbutso. This time, this innovation comes from another brilliant African whose name is Fed. Uh, a pioneer now joining the ranks of minds determined to free Africa from its energy dependency traps. The technology the world is hesitating to build? For years, major Western tech companies and government-funded projects have teased the public with the dream of nuclear-powered appliances. These innovations promise to revolutionize our daily lives, offering cleaner energy solutions and unprecedented efficiency. However, the reality of such technology remains elusive as safety concerns and regulatory hurdles continue to pose challenges. They've shown fancy three-dimensional models, pitched futuristic promises at tech expos, and held endless panels with scientists explaining how we're getting closer. But for the everyday person, especially in the global south, it always ends in disappointment. Their nuclear-powered home gadgets never arrive. Why? Because the Western system isn't built for liberation. It's built for control. A truly energy-independent household disrupts entire industries. Electricity distribution, power billing, appliance manufacturing, and even international fuel politics. That's why, while they dangle these dreams like carrots in front of the masses, the real innovation, the bold action, is quietly happening in Africa. A kettle that defies the grid. Fed's invention is as radical as it is symbolic. Freed from shackles? Think about it. An electric kettle, a basic household item, now freed from the shackles of electric sockets, load shedding schedules, or the rising cost of energy. This kettle contains within it a nuclear micro battery, carefully engineered to release safe, controlled energy enough to boil water in minutes over and over again, uh, without ever plugging into a wall. It doesn't need charging, it doesn't need solar panels, it doesn't need petrol or diesel, it simply works. And it keeps working. This is not magic, this is science. They are harnessed with a freedom-first mindset, and it's being done in Africa by Africans. Why this matters more than you think. The clip you must see. We'll be sharing a clip of this development soon. It shows the kettle in action, boiling water from a compact unit that hums quietly with invisible energy. No wires, no flames, just clean power doing what it's supposed to do. Welcome guys, my name is Fibile, as you know that. Guys, you know, here I have another idea. 
that just came up to my mind. This is the kettle I just bought it. Uh, after buying this kettle, uh, I have been uh, thinking uh, that why can't I turn it to uh, an element that just work without uh, plugging to the electricity? Because this kettle works with like this thing. You you plug this side to the electricity and then you put it here. You see, and then you plug there to boil water. So my opinion that I came with it is that why can't I not use electricity and uh, I change some some things here to the nuclear uh, products so that I can use from that instead of using electricity on it. So yeah, I've tested it and I find that it works. So I'm here today guys to show you how things like that can work. Um, because surely this is an electric uh, kettle, but I turned it into nuclear uh, non-electric uh, boiling water thing. I don't know what I will call it. Uh, I don't know. But uh, for now, I use it to boil water just the way it is. So let us just pour some water in there uh, so that we can test it how it works. And uh, without it anything, which means I can put the thing away for now. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let me just put that thing away and uh, we work with this one to boil water without any blacking to this uh, electric kettle here. We use it in without the electricity. Okay, and uh, before that, guys, as you know that I'm an inventor, I made a TV which doesn't use electricity. That's the same product I also used on this kettle to remove some elements in it and then I added the nuclear products so that it can work without power. So yeah, by that, please guys help me by subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you are in TikTok, under my profile picture on TikTok, there's a um, YouTube link. Click on that uh, YouTube link. It will take you directly to my YouTube channel where you can subscribe. And also, if you uh, are in TikTok, for example, you can uh, click this subscription button to join my membership to help me with only $5 per month. You will be done a very big difference for me to help me on this innovation of mine because i invented a lot of things some of them i tried them they couldn't work that's why i didn't even show you guys but the, for what has worked i mean i used to show you guys like a tv i made a tv which doesn't use electricity you know that you can go through my youtube channel you'll see all the videos how it works and whatever now today i came with this idea i tested it i have more than two weeks testing testing and find that this one works so that's why i'm here today guys to show you how it works let's pour water into this kettle so that we can start a uh, boiling without power uh, this is just a normal uh, m5 liter <laughs> okay so this for water inside here. Ah, I think that's enough. Uh, that's enough, guys. Uh, let me just close here. Um, and then let me close here. And also, here another thing that I want to show you before I turn it on. This switch uh, still work. Uh, this is the switch that you turn it on and off when you plug to the electricity but the same switch even now without electricity is the same switch that i use so yeah this is how it works guys now let us just uh, uh, put this uh, one away and then uh, so that you guys can see this is my microphone guys <laughs> you don't think that's something i plugged this is my microphone here it's capturing sound and uh, yeah as you can see clearly now uh, what we have to do here let's just turn this one on right now okay so by turning it on you just come to this switch here you pick it up you see so let us wait for this water to boil okay while you're watching take your time guys take your time uh, wait for it it will be boiling just the way it is so as you can see that now the water is starting to show and also you can see that blue light. I don't know whether the camera draws. I'm shooting myself. I just place a camera there. I don't know whether you can see there's a blue light there down there. The, that shows that the, the, the kettle is on and it's off. I want
once I turned it on, you can see there. Ah, here we go now. As you can see, what is boiling now? What is boiling? Yeah. So this is it, guys. This invention represents a mindset revolution, a complete rejection of the dependency model forced on Africa for decades. Energy is the backbone of modern development. When a person can produce their own power even at a small scale, they gain independence. They gain time. They gain dignity. Imagine rural homes with kettles that work even when the national grid fails. Imagine mothers who no longer need firewood or charcoal just to make tea or cook baby food. Imagine communities building systems that don't rely on outside infrastructure to survive. That's the vision, and it's happening now. While the West is stuck in endless research and development phases, Africa is prototyping, building and deploying. A quiet rebellion in plain sight. Imagine if it powered a car for 60,000 days. What we're witnessing isn't just innovation, it's quiet rebellion. For far too long, Africa has been cast as the continent that needs saving, always a beneficiary, never the creator. But what happens when African minds begin to break free from the scripts written for them? What happens when instead of waiting for foreign aid or NGO solutions, young inventors like Fed rise up and say, we'll solve it ourselves? The result is this, a self-powered kettle. A nuclear battery that doesn't glow in the dark or endanger lives, but rather serves the simple purpose of making daily life easier. It's not flashy, it's not hooked into 5G, it doesn't have a touchscreen. But it works, and that alone makes it revolutionary. Western hypocrisy exposed. Let's be honest, the Western world is good at marketing ideas they never intend to deliver. They talk about green energy, freedom, sustainability, yet their real goal is to keep the wheel of economic control spinning in their favour. Imagine if millions of people around the world no longer needed to pay electricity bills, charge phones or depend on power grids. The energy companies, utility providers and even mobile network corporations would crumble. So when an African mind builds something like this, Something the West claimed was still decades away, it's not just impressive. It's threatening to the system. You don't need a PhD to appreciate the genius here. What you need is vision, and the ability to realize that Africa is no longer begging to be part of the future. We are building it one invention at a time. Final thoughts. The nuclear-powered electric kettle is a symbol of independence, of progress, and of the future that's already here. Stay tuned. Share this with everyone who thinks African innovation is limited to agriculture and mobile money. Let them see what's cooking, literally, in the heart of a continent they can no longer afford to ignore. If you're tired of waiting for the West to fulfill promises they never intend to keep, know this, the tide is turning. And it's African minds, not foreign aid, leading the charge. Want a follow-up script or video idea about how these nuclear batteries are made and how safe they are, or an interview-style piece with Fed and other silent innovators breaking boundaries? I've got...